Hi, I'm Cece and welcome back to the of Minecraft 1.18 SMP. I am here at Stockholm in front of the masonry and carpentry shop where I have collected up a bunch of sand because I want to go make some TNT and go netherite mining because I've been not using netherite for ages. Everyone else has it and I just I want to have it and durability would be nice to increase that. So uh, I don't actually have a gunpowder farm or anything, but luckily FaZe does, so I'm gonna go head over to his shop and craft up a bunch of TNT, so I should probably put this into shulker boxes. Over here is uh, FaZe's gunpowder farm, or shop, sorry, uh, and that's sold out, that's sold out, but there's a bunch of stacks here, okay, uh, diamonds, an end chest, I thought bring an end chest. Yeah, I now have 62 diamond blocks. I don't know when that happened. So let's just get a bunch of diamond blocks and then just see how much gunpowder I can buy. Great. So yeah, 13 stacks and a bit. I'll see if that is enough for now. Actually, I can go craft it somewhere. I've got a craft table here, actually. So let's craft up the TNT, how much, see how much I get. Okay, so that gets me a stack and a half or so of TNT, which should be a decent amount, but I kind of got this much sand, so I might just get another shulker box of gunpowder. Okay, that's, uh, so how much is that in total? Uh, just under 11 stacks? Yeah, just under 11 stacks, that should be enough. So, now I need to actually go and mine out a big corridor to blow up. <laughs> So if I place the TNT on Y11, then that should be the perfect level for it. So it's going to dig forward for as long as I can. I'll be back once I've done that. <laughs> okay. Uh, excluding the two that I got from strip mining, we got eight ancient debris, which is enough for two ingots, six and four, so I need ten netherite, and that is forty ancient debris, so I need four times this to get all the tools I want. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll do another one of these. Uh, got plenty of TNT to go, so I might just go diagonal, not diagonal, horizontally from here and try some more. I've now collected up 43 ancient debris, uh, but I'm completely out of bread and fireworks, so I'm gonna head back up, but this is enough to make myself a full set of tools, I believe. But uh, I could just put it in a furnace, and this is not an easy way to talk, <laughs> but uh, I could just put it into a furnace and smelt it up, but that feels boring, and as I hit my- ow, 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 as I hit my face against the ceiling, I've been thinking of some ideas to uh, do instead of just a furnace, and I want to build like a forge, I think. So uh, let's head back to Stockholm, and then we can do some planning. Apparently that was the first time I've actually picked up lava bucket. That doesn't feel right. Okay, so yeah, anyways, a uh, fun fact about ancient debris is that it doesn't burn in lava, which means you can push it and use it similar to a water stream. So I want to see if I can make use of that and uh, make a forge which pushes ancient debris and never right around with lava which I think sounds quite fun, but I'll need to make a design. And also, while I'm here at Stalkholm, I just wanted to... I remembered I just did something off screen a little while ago. Now when you enter the... well, sorry, now when you exit the... Uh, uh, what's this place called? The Tailors! The Tailors! Now when you exit the Tailors, you'll come out into this uh, little lower area, which circles round up to there, but also there's a, a more direct staircase that takes you up to the higher level. Just to add some more verticality and interest. And this bit here just goes into the wall, which will have another, uh, probably 
I don't know, maybe a farm down there. Just because I want this place to actually be a bit more functional, because right now it is all manual. But unrelated to what I want to do now. What I want to do now is make a forge. And the forge, I think I want to go here. I don't know if I want it to be inside or outside of the uh, cliff. I think I want it to be inside. But if I'm going to have it inside, I need to have... I need to know what this room is going to be. Because I don't want them to get in the way of each other. Did I, just, did I see a pillager? No, I think I'm going insane. So this room here, uh, I have rebranded from being the super smelter room to being my new masonry. And then I'm going to have this masonry connect up behind here. And then go into... Uh, up here. There it is. So, yeah, that... that then that will connect you into the redstone workshop and then I'm going to have another path which goes around the back and then goes into the, uh, the, 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 the stony cave. You'll probably never actually walk back there but I'll have a minecart that goes back there as like a bit of set dressing just to sort of explain how the, the stone gets from here over to the mason's workshop. But that is uh, not... oh Jesus, hello. I have never seen one of them spawn in before. I'm not going to build this room now, I just kind of want to at least plan it so I can get an idea of how much space I'm going to need. Unhelpful. This wall will uh, obviously wrap around here, and then I think I'll have it raised up with a small platform here. I might have stairs come out of this room just a smidge to give it a bit more elevation, and then I can have a similar thing to what I've got going on in here where I've got like a canopy or balcony with a workshop underneath it. Oh and also I built the cogs. I don't know if I ever actually showed this but I like them. They, they're cool. Uh, I, I remember actually I cut off the last clip before ending the last episode so. So I have an entrance here and then I want to have an entrance back here I guess. And that will have to have some room behind it which means I can probably have about three blocks of workspace. So if I go over here, oh my shovel is about to die, but it should be enough to do this. If it isn't, I can always connect it up to the forge, actually. But I do want to have everything be interconnected, and it would be nice if I had like a system on the outside, but also a system in the inside. So if you were savvy enough to know like shortcuts and stuff, you could like work your way through the interior. So I think that should be fine. I think I'll fo focus on the forge and then work the stone masonry around it. Um, but I do not actually have a design for the forge. It, I am going to be flying by the wheel of... What? Flying by the wheel of my pants. Uh, I mean, the seat of my... Uh, I've, uh, I've messed that up. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be making it up as I go. And we'll see. But my idea is to... Let's do a little demonstration. Do, 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 with some blocks here. Over here, okay. I want to have a central, like, pillar, which will be where you do the smithing, because this room is just for netherite. It's completely pointless 90% of the time I'm playing this game. Probably 99% of the time I'm playing this game. But there'll be a smithing table here on, like, a little podium, uh, and there'll be a place to ent enter? Uh, um, deposit. Deposit uh, ancient debris. And then it'll go into a forge, which will be on the wall. Uh, and it will have like a bucket, which I could use as a cauldron to represent, but I'm going to use a crafting table instead. So the, uh, there'll be lava coming out of the wall onto a basin. The netherite will fall out of the lava into that basin, and then inside the basin will be like just a, a, a blast furnace. Uh, and then the netherite will then come out of like a, a, a chute which will then go to the smithing table, and then you can pick up your thing to do the smithing on. Yeah, that's my idea. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to execute it, and I think I'm going to use blackstone for it. Just to stop using deep slate for everything, because it's just deep slate everywhere you look. And also this floor is very flat, but that's a future me problem. But I'm going to have to repair my shovel before I can do anything, because 31 is not going to last me uh, an entire... Uh, Digging of this bit. Okay, the mountain's now been a little bit squared off, but it has uh, given me probably enough space to make this. I don't know how. In my mind, I'm imagining some giant great hall, but on the other hand, 
uh, this is a, a furnace, so I I don't need I don't need that much space. But what I'm thinking is a pillar, like a circular pillar in the center. Doop, doop. Okay, uh, this will probably be based up, but this is just a plan. And then here, I guess, will be the back wall, which will have a. Oh, what if I did instead? Uh, I had a lava channel that goes this way. So you throw the netherite or the ancient debris into here, and then it goes up. Uh, probably a secret water elevator, and then splits off into. What's the word? Furnaces! Into furnaces and smelts, and then drops one out either side. No, because I'd rather have. I would rather have a basin. That's kind of crucial to the design. Well, I'd, uh, there's so many things in my mind. And I don't know what to go with. I think I'll try doing the the basin. I'm gonna do the basin first. So basin it would be like a up against a wall, and then there would be lava in here. But on the bottom of the lava would be some hoppers, and then they would just go into a blast furnace, which will then pump out lava, pump out lava, pump out never right into a chest. I could have some decorative lava coming on the sides actually, and then have the main... Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So, this is probably not going to be enough space actually. Uh, I need to go back a bit more, because I want to have a space for a... Do I, have a... do I even have a smithing table? Surely I've got a smithing table somewhere. Ah, there's one there. Perfect. Okay, this is the only one I own. Probably stole from a villager. But yes. That's not what I wanted. Uh, there. You walk down... Yeah, that's too small of a platform for this. I, I want to go big. I, I, I have the urge to scale. <laughs> so I've got the basic starting point of this, which is the pedestal. So here is the cold cauldron. That is not a cauldron. This is a smithing table. I've been saying it all episode. Uh, and it's on just a little tower, a little strut, which I think looks cool. I'm thinking of extending this down. I'm leaving myself the opportunity. If I don't want to, I can always just turn it into like a stubby tower but I, I I think I might go all out with this uh, but now I need to work on somewhere to deposit deposit what is the word I'm looking what is wrong with me today deposit ancient debris got it and I think rather than using a chest or something I just want to throw it so I think it's gonna have like a vat of lava you just throw ancient debris into it and then it will just work its way up I don't know if I am floating lava or I'll have to use a water column back there. Well, I don't know. We'll figure out. But I need to get an idea of... Yeah, actually, maybe do a two-block gap and then have the basin. So that would be filled with lava. Uh, I, uh, I'm at my element here. Also, I'm going to switch in some of the other block types. It's just I'm using black stone as a way to get like the texture, not the texture, get the shape, and then I can texture it later. But I kind of want it to be like I can see inside of the basin, otherwise you'll just not know what's in there. So like this might be good. Okay, and then this will just be like a back wall. And it looks like a toilet. Oh, damn it! Uh, yeah, that's just a toilet. That's a black toilet. Oh no! Or oh, it's like a, a basketball hoop. <laughs> I think I like the idea of having. Okay, the issue I'm thinking of now is how do I get the items out? I think the simplest way to do that is cheating. Is have the items come at the bottom and then go through a water tube in the walls that then goes on top of here and drops it onto the to the thingy. That's probably the best idea. Oh, and if I have two dispensers at top, one that has gold in it, one that has the scrap in it, then I can fire off a four tick pulse. Sorry, four, four, four ticks. Four pulses, four one tick pulses. That's it. 
Four one-trick pulses that then send out enough to craft a single Neverite ingot. Yes, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So, let's uh, scrap this, get rid of the toilet. This might end up meaning another room expansion, but I don't care. I think it's cool and I like it. Okay, so have two basins either side. I'm not even sure if basin is the right word. Right, 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 right. That wasn't the right word. Uh, I don't know if basin's even the right word, but I'll have two basins uh, either side, and then there'll be lava dropping down from them. But if I have something like that... Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm starting to get the feel, get the jive, get the groove, get the vibe. And now it's a bit small, this room. You can't see inside it, which is an issue. What if I did an inverted version of this? Okay, this is really good because you can just see into the, into the... I need to stop saying basin, but I can't think what else to call them. Okay, I'm gonna have... I think I'll have these uh, cauldrons. Sure, I'll call them that now. I'll have these cauldrons hanging from the ceiling. Maybe have... Oh my god, what am I doing? Have these hang from the ceiling. Have chains. That's gonna be cool. Ooh, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. So, uh, in reality, this would need to the chains wouldn't work because you'd need to tip it, and unless you tipped it like diagonally. But what if I had two sort of like what looks like rotatey bits that would in the law obviously it wouldn't do it in the game because that wouldn't make sense. But it would rotate them into the center and then have like a channel of lava that goes down here and that's where the materials go like the ores or the melted ingots uh i'll show you what i mean uh so something kind of like this where like it would tip the 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 melty hot drink drink not not a drink god i <laughs> what is wrong with me today okay uh so yeah that would tip and pour into there. I don't think that would actually line up, but I do not care. Uh, and then I'd have like a running lava source there, and then I'd have lava source coming from. Uh, oh, I like this. I'm starting to enjoy it. Okay, it's it's cool when you have like an idea and it starts to like shape out. But before I can actually continue, <laughs> I need more black soap because this is all I have left. I don't think I'll be doing much with these walls. It is now the next day and... Oh, it's raining. Uh, can I sleep? So I've made some progress now, and I am liking the look of it so far. I'm doing this all in survival, so it is a bit odd to, like, keep having to build a wall and then run back here, build a wall, run back here. Because I'm kind of basing everything off of how good it looks from this part, because this is where I'm going to be standing. And what I was thinking is have the back wall as, like, a fortified like, castle structure, and then have the walls be freestanding cave, as if it's just been, like, carved out, and then, like, supported with pillars. But I've got myself some channels which have the lava, so the... You'll throw an ancient debris down to this lava channel here, it will go down into that hopper, or maybe just flow all the way back, and then it will go up to here, and then split between these two, uh, thingies. And then once it comes out this channel, it'll drop down into this basin, which I've got four lava sources in each corner that flow into the center. And then under the center, there is, not in this one, there is a hopper. And then that will just go into a blast furnace, which will then deposit it out, and then we'll get some way of retrieving it here. I'm thinking about having it retrieved in the roof, but we'll just have to see about that. Uh, this statue, uh, I did not design. This is a uh, whip. Um, we made it ages ago, but I liked how it looked. But I've retextured it to blackstone to fit the area. And this area is looking a bit like all one block. So I'm going to try and maybe convert the basins into polished, maybe either deep slate or into just polished blackstone to give some the bricks for the walls, polish for the stuff, and then blackstone for the statue, if that makes sense. Uh, my brain is all over the place. I am fluttering in and out of ideas uh, and oh god I can't form a sentence properly at all but I want to finish up the back wall and then we can start work on the output system I guess 
I've had a brain fork and uh, I like it a lot. So I've got these lava things back here. I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to get the items up to the top. And apparently you can actually make items flow up lava. I, I didn't know that was a thing, but it has to all be source blocks uh, similar to water. Well, the same as water. So if I can make all of the blocks, all the lava back there into source blocks, then items will flow up it. So I can have the lava go up here, or the items go up here, and they flow out of the channel down into here after I throw them in here. So I'm going to quickly get rid of this lava for now. And I'm going to try and root a... Issue is item splitting, because I'd like to have both sides function. So have like... Half the ancient debris go this way, half it go that way, but I can't do that with just streams of lava. I need to have a dispenser involved, which can then split the items. Here, okay. The lava will flow down here, put the item into here, and then beneath this hot, uh, chest, I will then have hoppers either side. And then dispensers or droppers, sorry, on either side. That way, if you put items into here, they'll come out in twos and then split between the two uh, droppers evenly. And then I'll just have a comparator system set up to chuck out the items. But now I'll need to get in some lava columns, and I'm going to need a lot of lava. I didn't realize how deep down I'd be. How much lava is this going to be? <laughs> oh god. I'm going to need 45 lava buckets per side. Oh god. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Oof, okay, I'll have to sort that out now, I guess. Here on the top, I'm going to do something a bit weird because of the way that lava flows. Uh, very strange. Uh, basically, if you put like lava and then let it flow, and then stop and then break up that. Oh, it didn't do it. I messed it up. I was on fire for a while. Yeah, so if you place down lava and let it flow for a sec and break it, it works. Why does it work now? It didn't work in my test world. That's really weird. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just do it normally then. Ah, here we go. Ah, see here. Okay, see how it's just stopped even though it shouldn't. It should. I oh, know it, it did stop here. I'm an idiot. Uh, oh, God. I've messed it up. Messed it up. Oh, God's sake. It's breaking every bone in my body trying to get down. That looks really dumb. Yeah, that looks awful. How am I gonna fix that? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Kieran. Yep. Help. Okay. Come, yeah? Come to my base. On my way. I fell into my lava pit. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Um, You've got sand, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I got loads. I did wonder why you left without saying anything. I just panicked. I was trying to get. I thought I could fly out, but then I just realized, nah, I'm too deep. I think I might have got up to about like halfway, but there's like behind the wall, there's like lava and like a big column. Yeah, yep. Is it the deep one? Yeah. Want me to just splash you? Yeah, I'll try. We can try splashing if you want. Oh, um, hang on. Let me splash myself and jump in the lava. Do you know how deep you are? Probably about four blocks, maybe three. How deep is your lava? Right. How deep okay. is your lava? <laughs> um, I'll join and then, like, leave for, like, a second. Oh. I may have got you. Yeah, you got me. Okay, cool. I was, nice. way, I was way deeper down. 
Yeah, you're pretty. <laughs> I think because you sink after you log out. For yeah, a true. Yeah, you do. You don't. Uh, God, I'm so, yeah, I was way, I was nowhere else going out on my own. <laughs> oh no, you're good. I'll go for. Let's go for. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is looking good though. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of hope you leave like a pile of ancient debris here, but that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, is this is this? It's solid, yeah. Oh, <gasps> nice. It's enough to make ten ingots. That's cool. No, very nice. Right, well, be careful, CC. I don't know how to get help. Wow, I'm in lava. I'm fine. Really, CC? Come on. Hello. Um, I have come. With some wares that you may be interested in. Wares? Where's the wares? The wares are in there. Ooh, there's like an other side disc in here, an ender chest, a light a diamond. What? Oh. Interested? For what? I thought you needed deep slate. I do know, I do need to type it. What do you want for it? I don't know, um. It took me a while to get, but I was also clearing an area, so... How much do you need? Uh, well, it's just kind of... Everything in my base needs deep slate, like... The floor, so... the walls, the... Floor... Yeah, I think one shulker box is it now. Okay, okay. Hmm. So, the whole shulker box, yes? Yeah. Hmm. I should have thought of this. May I offer a mountain? All yours. <laughs> Do you remember that mountain that I built Kieran back in like episode two or three, the snowy one? Uh that's the mountain we were talking about there. Uh he wants to expand it a bit, but he doesn't like terraforming, so he's uh I'm he's asked me if I could do it and that was what that was about. So anyways, on to the project now. Uh, splitting items is more difficult than I thought it would be because this does split items. The issue with that is that items can do come in one at a time. So an item will go into the chest through this hopper and then just go out into one of the hoppers like this one here and all the netherite would end up going this way. So what I need to do instead is have a compare to come out of here which will detect when there's items inside the chest and then once uh, two come through it will uh, unpower this redstone letting two items out and then lock in the hoppers again and uh, this is the amount of items you need to get that exact number you need so if I put in one coal nothing happens but put in two coal and then they both get taken out. Uh, I have also redone these channels you see that they, um, they actually look good now rather than having that weird flat bit of lava that goes into a downwards I hated how that looked so yeah now this is a what I've done the way I fix it is this here is a lava source and then beneath here is just some blocks and then there's like a another lava stream there just as a way to kind of facade it a bit um but I haven't actually made it go all the way up yet and I don't have the lava on me and I'm running out of rockets this wall almost fell in oh god I'm I really should have placed the lava in a last and worked around it. Doing that best thing was annoying with the lava here. But, hey, live and learn. But I'm slowly getting there. I've also added in some lava beneath the legs, which I think looks kind of cool. I'm interested to see how this place will look like during... Not, I mean, it is during the night, but I mean, when the place is, like, closed off. Because all the lights are going to be on this side, and then there's going to be, like, nothing on this side, so... I have to see how that looks. But this wall is pretty much done. I just need to finish up filling in the lava tubes and then doing the rest of the walls. And this project has taken a while, <laughs> it's now the third day of doing it. I thought this would be a lot faster, but I definitely expanded the scope of this, what should have been a simple project. What should have been an hour long project of making a furnace set up and uh, smelting up some neverite has turned into a four day adventure. Uh, into many things I didn't know about Minecraft, but I have now almost completed it and I have built up a cave. 
and I it looks a bit weird but I'm honestly tired of this and I just kind of want it to be over so I'm satisfied to call it here on this but it looks kind of cool it's using the same cliff designs I've been doing around my base but in like a cave form and I've got some dripstone pillars and little hanging lights and it's cool I like it and I've got the back wall of course which has both channels running down and it's fully functional I've got a furnace down there I've got a uh, with this, that's all connected up, and there's a warp column at the back which takes items up to there, which will then drop them down, and I'll show you how that works right now. So, up here we have lots of redstone, uh, but here is the warp column. It goes along this path into a hopper here, and every time an item goes through this hopper, this comparator reads it and puts it into a redstone dust, which then unpowers the hopper beneath it, letting it into the dropper. It also goes into this repeater, which goes into this system here, which is a counter circuit made by someone called XRush101 from nine years ago, and it's so cool that this actually still works. Um, and it uses locking repeaters, which I haven't seen Redstone do ever. Like, I knew it was a thing, but I never found a use for it, but it's nice to know that it is a use for it. And there's probably better ways to do this now with more modern redstone, but I like using the classic sometime. But the way it works is that it powers this block here, which unpowers this torch, lifting this piston. This uh, block is being powered by this locked repeater. But when this block lifts up, this will unpower the redstone for a second, unlocking the back repeater, and so on and so forth every time a pulse comes through. So each time an item goes through this, it will uh, unpower one more of the repeaters, and then once four items go through, it will then send a circuit or send a signal through this uh, redstone line over to this here, which is the dumbest redstone I have ever made. Uh, I think this is hilarious. So this is my attempt at making a four one tick pulses, which uh, was harder to do than I expected. I didn't think it would be difficult, and there's probably way better ways of doing this. And I think uh, FaZe found a better way of doing it just after I had made this one. But uh, I find this so funny that I had to use it. And the way it works is this observer here detects a signal, and then it powers this dispenser, putting out water here and flowing it into this observer. So that will send out one pulse through this observer. And then it picks back up this dispenser, or picks up back up this water, and the water levels drops by three levels from two to one to nothing which then sends out three more pulses which then goes into these dispensers here uh, and it will send out four items from each one of them which i think is just fantastic and i can give a demonstration of it right now so throw in one co cobblestone see that that this uh repeater has unpowered do it again the next one unpowers, do it again. The next one unpowers, do it again. Whole thing unpowers, sends a signal over here, releases the water, drops, drops, drops. And then if I go down to the bottom, there should be, theoretically, four cobblestone and four soil sand. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. And it is so stupid. But, oh, it's... It, it, <laughs> That kind of resonance just makes me happy. It's way more interesting to me where you can kind of... It's, it's like seeing Cog's move. You understand what's happening with it. Um, and it should be fully reset. I'm just going to double check so that's not actually been tested. Oh, let me up. Oh, what am I doing? I'm kind of lagging right now so I keep going to flight mode by accident. Uh, yes, it has fully reset. And the water should be reset. Yep, okay. It's all functioning. So now I just need to put gold into here. I have now got me some gold, and I'm going to put in just a bit of a six stacks. Probably won't need that much, but may as well. And empty this one of items, and I think this is all ready to go. So, I'm going to do f just one ingot first. So, let's get up uh, four ancient debris. So, I want to do... I guess I'll just throw it all in and see what happens. Okay, it's off. <laughs> Down into the channel. And there's no way of watching it until it comes out of these 
thing, so it's got to keep an eye out for it. I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh, there they are. One, two. Just two of them? Don't know. Didn't think that far ahead. Uh, please cover that up. <laughs> what have I done there? Did only two of them go through? I think only two of them I went through. Um, okay, I need to go around the back and check. And I want to cover up that there. Okay. Yeah, only two Neverite scraps came through, which means that some of them have been stuck down the back. So let's quickly head down here. Where are they? They're not back here. My only guess is that they're stuck up there. If we be on just to be safe. I've got no idea where these went. I did throw in four, right? My guess is that they're stuck. But I can't check that. Unless... Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my replay mod. I didn't save a replay. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to save a... I'm going to do it again. But this time, I'm going to save a replay. I'm going to send in four of them, which might be a waste of an ingot, but we will just take that risk. Okay, so I am recording. In the go. I'm also going to have F3B on just so I can see them coming out a bit easier, and I might even be able to see them through the wall. Yep, there's one there. There it is. There's one either side. Or two either side. There's two that side, one that side. So two should drop down from here. Oh, oh that's apparently being powered as well. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? But there is six Neverite scraps in here. That's that's why it didn't work. I accidentally broke a block. It's on dust. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab that and then I'm going to just uh, put it back into the system manually. I'm going to get down below. And there they are. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then that means I can just craft this up into an Everite ingot. And then I have an Everite ingot now. So. If I want to say upgrade my pickaxe, let's upgrade my There we go, never right. That gives me an extra 500 durability, not bad. So I guess I'm going to do another test just to be 100% safe. <laughs> and then that should be enough to make. Yes! Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and then never right ingot. Bang on. Okay, uh, this is now functioning. Oh, that is wonderful. So I'm going to go head up to the top. Uh, just to... Wait, why, does that... why do I have six? I meant to have six? So I think I'm going to do my big test now and throw in all of the ancient debris. Oh, this is a risk, but... Uh, I should... Theoretically, get t nine ingots, I believe, because I did lose that two other. So uh, that's concerned me is the two that has gone missing. Okay, I have 31 debris, which should split into uh, seven ingots. So, no, nine ingots. Wait, wait. Because that would be, yeah, seven there. Eight, because I've got two in that scrap up there already, and then I've already got two ingots, so that's... That's more ingots than I thought I had. Have I not lost? I'm really confused, but in the go, 31. I should get 31... I should get 33 scraps in the end, or 32, sorry, because I'll have one left up there. 
So now it's just the waiting game. It's going to be impossible to count them either side. I just got to hope that it's right. It's really satisfying to see them coming out like this. I'd love to put in a massive batch of this. Oop, there's one set. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. See, that's another one. <laughs> that is... Seven scraps. That doesn't seem right. How is only seven scraps dropped? When it stops making noise for a while, I panic. Okay, that's 23, in uh, 23 scrap. To be two more loads coming. Okay, it stopped making noise, which probably means that it's done. But that does mean I have lost uh, a lot of ingots, so I need to check where they could have gone. Let's first double check this uh, dropper. Yeah, there's nine ingots here. Or nine scraps, sorry. So I think what might have happened is it's a timing issue. I need to just make it slower. So I think it might not have enough time to get into the dropper when it before it uh, goes out because I'm pretty sure th I've been getting enough gold. Like this is the correct amount of gold. Actually, no, it's not. It's not the correct amount of gold. I think it's just coming in too quickly. Yeah, because if multiple come out at the same time, what happens? It only does a single. Right. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. So the way that I fix that is somehow. Oh, I know. I think. If I go down to here, to see that there's this here. What if I slowed this side down? Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a big, big mistake. Uh, uh. Okay, let's pretend this didn't happen. Max ticks, da, 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 da. and then I need a black stone. Oh no! I did it again, I did it again, I did it again. Okay, that should have. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I see what I did wrong. <laughs> should have destroyed that block. So, I think that should be enough to fix it. Theoretically, at least. Terracotta block. But I, it did cook up all the scrap, which is a good thing. So, I can craft. I need more gold, actually. That's the issue. And now I've lost a netherite. Oh, I'm going to have to do some faffing with this off screen to get it properly timed. It's not there. Where is it now? <laughs> oh god. I really should have designed this in a creative world first, but... Yeah, there it is, okay. I think that was fine with how it was. Okay, uh, but I think after I've done some futzing with this, it should be fully functional, so I've now got nine Neverite ingots, uh, and I've got enough to make all my gear, so perfect boots, perfect helmet, perfect pants, perfect axe, perfect sword, perfect shovel, perfect pickaxe, and I do not have um, my hoe on me right now. Actually, I don't even have a perfect hoe, so I need to make a perfect hoe. And then I'll also do my chest plate, or just leave the extra never in it. This has now been fixed. It is fully functional. I've got it all working, and it was all thanks to this. This uh, furnace was the issue, uh, but delaying it by that has stopped the item stacking problem, which stopped, uh, which helped fix the, uh, the, the 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 dispenser issue up top and the hopper issue. 
So I did a dry run with some copper ingots and I got every single one back, so it is now functional. Uh, and also I did not lose any ancient debris, it just got stuck in the hopper up top, I just never actually checked it. So I did get all the ancient debris in the end, because I have the 10 ingots, which is 40. And I have three extra ancient debris, which is currently in the back, because there is just an unfortunate buffer that I can't get rid of, so... There'll always be two ancient debris at the back, and since I have uh, one extra, it's just sitting in the chest waiting for another one to come through. So, it is now all sorted. I have uh, finished this project. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and <laughs> my, um, my never right pants with the enchantment blends quite well with my uh, my overalls, and it looks like I'm actually wearing them now. It's quite fun, actually. Uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!